everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that I think is overlooked a lot in cooking, but spoons. Spoon selection is super important, and it sounds kind of silly and sort of like a unnecessary detail, but it really can have a huge effect on your cooking, and especially on the pots and pans that you use. So first up is the wooden spoon. This is everybody's favorite. It has been a cooking tool for, at this point, thousands of years, and there's a really good reason for that. It's versatile, it does not conduct heat, so this will not heat up if you put it like in a pot. And then additionally, it actually does not hurt metal. You can do wood on metal, no problem. So if I have something sauteing, for instance, so I'm using a metal pan and I want to stir it around, I'll use a wooden spoon because it's not gonna get super hot, and because of the fact that it's wood, it can get into all those nooks and crannies without scratching my really nice, you know, more expensive pots and pans. Wooden spoons are cheap, but pots and pans are very expensive. So next is a metal spoon. And I know I just talked about how metal on metal is a big no-no, so you do not use metal spoons for stirring or for sauteing or anything like that where you actually will touch this against the surface of a pan. This is perfect for using in a bowl, you can use it in soups if you want, but really metal is something that you don't tend to want to put in something that's already hot because it will conduct heat, and you want to use this for stuff basically once you're done cooking. So I use a slotted spoon for stirring things once they're out of the pot, or for you know straining pasta, that kind of thing. Next, I have a silicone spatula. And I love, these are also known as rubber spatulas. And the silicone on the top basically means that it's super flexible and it's perfect for getting into nooks and crannies. And additionally, it has a wooden handle, so it's not gonna get too hot. The big thing here is silicone or rubber does melt. So you don't wanna put this over any direct heat. You do not wanna put this into a pan that you're broiling or searing anything in. So this is usually best reserved for baking. I love this thing for getting to the bottom of the bowl. Anyway, that's just a tidbit on one of my favorite and often overlooked cooking utensils, the spoon. But I hope that these tips and tricks help you in the kitchen and sort of help you tackle your next project. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.